Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you. Okay, let's see here, Leo. What's going on for you guys? Okay. Ten of Pentacles. There's things here regarding your legacy. There's things here regarding your name. You may want to change your name. You may want to change your identity to something that you want to be known as. It's like this. The universe is giving you messages that it's like, yeah, things are about to start to happen for you. So who do you want to be known as? And this has been happening for quite some time where it's like, okay, do you want to be associated with these people or not? Because things are about to level up and you don't want to be around people that you can't trust when the stakes get higher, you know, because that's what's going to happen for you here. There is something about other people that have tried to badmouth your legacy that are trying to talk negatively against you that's going to come to light. People are going to find out about this. They're going to hear about this. They're going to know about this. You are going to start some sort of legacy on your own here. You're going to make what something means to be your name. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a legacy. <laughs> I don't know. But there's something here about uh, beautiful things coming forward here. You have the Seven of Pentacles and you have the Knight of Cups. There is a person here who is realizing, you know what? They don't want just Seven Pentacles, you know? They want the whole Ten Pentacles and they're wanting this with you. So they're coming forward to offer this cup of love. You have been getting this energy the past couple of days that a person wants to come forward. A person wants to tell you that, you know, hey, I want to kind of like start a family with you. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that dramatic, but in their mind, it feels like this daydream that this person has about things going further between the two of you. It's something that they didn't see was possible and now they're seeing as possible. It's something where they felt like they were putting all of this work in and they wouldn't get anywhere. Like they were not worthy to be in your energy. And I feel like this person um, has had some things happen that has changed their mind. Yeah, look at this page of pentacles here. This person is thinking about offering this pentacle here. And this is something that, you know, they were wanting to do, but they're taking their time time to think about it because it's like they didn't want to because they felt like they were not worthy enough on some level in some way they felt that maybe you would not reciprocate these feelings for them um you didn't really see them as like a real option and so this is what made this person hesitate, but I feel like their feelings are getting too strong. So it's becoming like overwhelming for them. Look at this. The lovers. Yeah, their feelings are getting too strong. You have the artist here. So this is about, you know, this, this person is like thinking, well, how do I really want this to go? You know, the artist is painting this picture here. This person is manifesting change. They are manifesting this successful outcome for the two of you here because they haven't seen it. Like they haven't seen like something like this in a long, long time. They haven't made, had someone make them feel like this in a long, long time. It's like your response to things. There is something here where maybe you feel like you're not part of a group here. You walked away from a group because you were like, this is immature. The way that they're behaving, they're not going in the direction that I want to go. There were some toxic elements to something. Regardless, there's a lot of things in your life that you're walking away from that are not that, that are not healthy, that are not benefiting you, that are not adding value to your life. And you said, you know, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to deal with these kinds of things anymore. You used to put up with a lot of BS because it was almost like you felt like you were here to care for all of these people on the earth 
and just give them the benefit of the doubt and 100% be there even if it meant you were being completely and totally depleted by this process, you know, and putting yourself last. And it's like the universe is kind of showing you, no, you know, it, it's okay for you. It's not only okay for you, but this is your right. This is your life, you know. So look at this emperor here. So now there's a lot of changes that are coming about because there could also have been another person that tried to come in here and they were very, you know, not very 100% about their feelings, not 100% about their what their actions were going to be. They weren't really presenting you with anything. Um, and you did not allow that to come forward. You're like, no, I'm not doing that. It's like you held out for an emperor and that's why you're getting an emperor now. Yeah, you have the six of pentacles here. So we got to see what this six of pentacles is about. The nine of wands flipped over in here. You know, there there's some things here that... You have the Queen of Wands and the Moon, King of Swords. Okay. You know, things that are needing to be made right for a long time for you. There's like something here that wasn't right. Was this situation not being like 100% give and take? I don't know. There is something that maybe you realized that you were doing that if this continued to progress, it would have turned unhealthy because you're realizing your part in something. And if you realize the energy that you're in and this pulls this kind of energy from a person, it's like spirit is like you don't have to be this imaginary person. You don't have to be this superhuman person. You don't have to do this, do this, so that this person will, whoa, whoa. It's like, no, you can just be originally yourself. And that's enough, as you are. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to do anything different. Just you, the way that you are, you know? And that's what this person is, is interested in. And so there's something here about that. Okay, let's clarify here. You have Gemini, you have Pisces, you have Aries. Libra too. And now you have Virgo. You have the lovers and you have the hermit. Yeah, there was something within yourself that needed to be balanced out in order for this love. And this other person could have had that too as well. You know, it's like when you go through a lot of trauma in your life, there's generational trauma here. You know, people tr putting you down in a lot of ways. And there's another way you're opening up, you're seeing how people were and how that was self-deprecating for you to allow these people into your life. And some of them were people that were very close to you in your immediate family. And so it took you some time to come to terms with this because there was maybe a lot of trauma there. There was a lot of inappropriate things. There was a lot of harmful things. You were not safe. You know, you grew up in a place where you weren't safe or you experienced a lot of trauma early on difficult situations early on. And so you learn the best way to handle this. It's like, okay, you felt really good when you were focusing on other people in their lives and giving to them. And so you just decided to only do that. And that's not the only people that you were getting that you were attracting in relationships were people that would be taken advantage. And whether they meant to or not, it's not appropriate, it's not right, and it's not going to lead to what it is that you're in alignment with now, which is this beautiful, healthy, full life of fulfillment in your own skin as you are, just as you are, uh, being worthy of a beautiful love, being worthy of abundance, being worthy of living the life of your dreams and having more than enough to help others, to, you know, go for your own desires, to have loyal people around you. You know, this is something that, you know, you're recognizing 
the beliefs that you had put in place that were not benefiting your life. And you decided to take ownership of that, not blame. This is not to blame yourself. No, 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 no. This is to say, okay, this was what I was doing and this is what was happening. I don't want that to happen again. So how could I do this differently? You know, I don't want to keep regurgitating and talking about this bad thing happened to me. This bad thing happened to me. This bad thing happened to me. And then it's like it keeps happening again and again and again. Why is this happening to me? You know, it's all of these people's faults. And I'm not saying that it's it's not their fault for the way that they treated you. But there is a point where you have to say, Albert Einstein, right? Insanity is repeating the same thing, behavior, and expecting a different result. It's something like that is what he said. So you said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look at myself here. I'm going to look at myself and I'm going to make a change. And this is, this person you're attracting is in alignment, you know, is in alignment with your soul, with your life's purpose. This is a person that you have, you know, divinely picked out. For some of you, there could be, you know, generations of ancestors that are around you, that are cheering you on, that are helping you because there's something here that you did that no one in your bloodline has been able to do. And it's been very important that this be done. Very important. A lot of souls are being freed because of this, you know, and there is a lot of, there is a lot of abundance coming towards you. It's like spirit is going to reward you in so many different ways for this amazing thing that you have done. In ways that you don't even know that you could have money coming towards you, there's money coming towards you. In ways that you don't even know that you could have loyal people, a fun, amazing people show up in your life, they're going to show up around you in your life. Ways that you couldn't even imagine you're going to have this love. Oh yeah, this is happening. So let's, let's like see more about this. Okay, seven of... That's a seven of pentacles. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> the sun and the knight of cups. Joy. Just joy. The, heart, the sun, you know, happiest card in the deck. Really the happiest card in the deck. And the knight of cups here. There is something here. There is a person that's coming towards you. You now have the knight of cups twice. You have the lovers twice and the knight of cups twice. So this is safe to say that somebody is thinking about you. Somebody wants to come forward towards you. I don't know if you know who this person is. We're going to see about that. But regard, I mean, who cares? <laughs> Whoever they are, they're amazing. <laughs> they're amazing. They're everything. And even if you are thinking about somebody else, uh, you're not going to be for <laughs> this person comes in but we'll see okay so wow what a nice energy what a you know it's just like the way this horse is like putting their head down a little bit i feel like this person is someone who's going to honor you they're going to honor your soul and that's something that you haven't experienced before you haven't experienced a partnership where somebody honors your soul and just the partnership between person and horse you know Back in the day, man, when, I don't know, people were cowboys, they were, they had their horse and that's all they had, you know, them and their horse and the wild open road of, there was no road, the wilderness. And it was just like, you know, their horse, you know, something went down and their horse just like knew, like, it's, you know, getting ready, you know? <laughs> And, um, you know, they, they had to like separate from their horse for some reason, let their horses go so they could hide in the brush. And once like the dust settled with some kind of conflict with other, you know, people, you know, the bad guys, the horse would return, you know, it was just like, wow. So <laughs> maybe this is a Sagittarius person. I don't know. Doesn't have to be, but it's like definitely a person here who, you know, they're loyal like a horse. They're a wonderful companion. They're a person who, you know, they're going to be there by your side. And it's like finally you have somebody who, you know, you can rely on that you can rely look at both of these cards have horses on them 
What is the spiritual meaning of a white horse? To me, this means freedom. There is something here that you're free from. For some of you, you've been in prison a long time. It's like your whole life has been a prison. And you just went from one prison to another prison. And you're starting to realize like, hey, I don't want this anymore. I want to be free. And I only want people around me that want me to be free. And I want everybody else to be free. I want everybody to win. I want everybody to have fun. I want to feel like I'm free, you know, and I want only people around me that are pure of heart. This is another thing that a white horse I think symbolizes is being pure of heart, being free and being loyal. So this is what... Let's, let's, okay. Let's look at this Knight of Cups. Shut up. Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Wow. This, you know, this person is very passionate. You could know them through work. You could meet this person through your work. You don't have to, but you could. Or there is something here that you really care about that you're really interested in. And it's like a newer-ish interest. It's not an interest that everybody knows about you. It's a hobby that you do in secret. It's something that it's like kind of all you care about, but you don't really tell everybody about it. And I feel like it's going to come up that you're going to, that you're going to tell people about it and this person is going to be there or you something happens with this and then you meet this person there there is something here about a huge change in your life this could be huge recognition in your work you getting huge recognition in something that you have done that you have created and you didn't even do it start it any of that for the recognition you did it for the passion you did it because you freaking loved it and this is why it's so beautiful that you're going to be recognized in this way. And this is why it's so beautiful that this person is coming towards you. Because this person doesn't have any ulterior motives. Their motive is to get to know you. Their no their motive is they're just they're drawn to you and they just feel like this is right and they want somebody that they can share the joy of being alive with. You know, that's that. It's a, it's a beautiful way. And it's someone who's willing to put in the work. It's somebody who is willing to step away, you know. This person is far away from the city behind them. So they're pulling themselves away. And they're focusing on something that they're doing. So this person has recently pulled themselves away and done the work that they needed to do. Because, you know, they realized that they wanted something more. They wanted a commitment. They wanted love. Uh, and, you know, they realized that there may be some changes that they needed to make because their day to day life was not fulfilling anymore. You know, there was a time when that was fulfilling. There was a time when they thought that that's all their life was going to be. That's all that they were capable of having. And that's all that they wanted. But there were things that they learned, worked through, blah, blah, blah. And this changed what it is that they were wanting. But this is the thing that's so beautiful is this person took the time to recognize if I want something different, I need to do something different. And I need to take an honest look at what I've been doing and try to change and then actually do it. And that's what they did. So this could be a person who's kind of like, you know, they were like a player person. They were over here. They were over there. They were non-committal, you know. And they did the work to change this. This is not somebody who, I'm not saying this is somebody who you see out at the bar and they're like trying to, I don't know how to, that's my response. <laughs> I don't know how to, you know, they're trying to hit on everybody and you know, they're just, and then they see you and all of a sudden, no, that's not what I'm saying. No, mm -mm, no. I'm saying that this person pulled themselves away. They made the changes. They're living in this lifestyle change now. You know, it's not just the, oh, it's the new year. So I'm going to go to the gym every single day for the whole year. Three weeks into the new year, they, they've stopped going to the gym. <laughs> they haven't been, <laughs> you know, no. This is a person where it's like, oh, no, it's been a year. They went every day. Yeah, they're a gym person now. You know, they have friends there, they're, you know, they have their own parking spot. It's like, you know, this is someone who actually did the change and you're going to see that in their life. 
You're going to see the reflection of that in their life. But this could be an energy of a person. We always get this energy of somebody trying to come in between. So it could be somebody who's like, oh, yeah, I dated that person. And, you know, they cheated on me and they did this and they did that. And it's like, got to look at other people's motives for what they're speaking about. And, you know, different people is, wow, there's, there's a thing called chemistry, you know, there's a thing about certain people for certain people. And that's just it. You can't explain it. You know, you can't explain who you fall in love with. You can't explain why something works and why something else didn't. It's different chemistry that wasn't supposed to work out. And this is not to say like, oh, this person is all over the place, so you should give them a chance. It's like you got to see what's in front of you, though, and not just take somebody's word for it because you don't know what their motives are. You have the Page of Cups and you have the Ten of Pentacles. So we now have the Ten of Pentacles twice. This is something really beautiful. So, yeah, I could see a person wanting this and trying to take this. And I feel like this is something that you have dealt with. You have dealt with uh, jealous people. You have dealt with envious people. It keeps coming through. Uh, so be mindful of that, but yeah, it, it's somebody, it's going to come forward, express their interest and things are going to move very quickly between the two of you, but it's a good move. It's like, it feels like one of those stories where it's like someone is like, oh yeah, you know, I met this person, you know, I did all these changes in my life and you know. Bam, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. The next thing you know, it's like, you know, things just flowed together very, very quickly. It's a beautiful energy. You have the Page of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords, and you have the Three of Pentacles here. There is somebody here that is paying attention to you. They're paying attention and they're admiring you and they're going to tell you that they're admiring you. For some of you, you're going to get some sort of recognition, acknowledgement in your work. And this is going to lead to things moving faster for you. Uh, in a beautiful way, in a way that you deserve. You're going to have somebody here who supports you. Could be a woman who has advice for you, like an older woman that has done some things before, that in some way they're going to be investing in you. They're going to say, look at you. Look at what you're doing. I like what you're doing. Um, this is what I'm doing. Can we put, put this together and it's going to benefit both of us and it is going to benefit you. So there is something here coming to a resolution here. There could be some things that, you know, you've been wanting to, um, settle, tie up. It's like, okay, I feel like there's things that it's like, hey, I wish things were settled differently. I wish this was over with. And it's like, you can kind of see an end in sight, but not really. This is going to come to a close for you. And this is like March, you know, because of three. So sometime in March, you're going to see some sort of a resolution, a fast resolution to something that you're watching and that you're hoping you're trying to learn more about it, to understand more about it and to be done with it. And that's going to happen here for you. Someone is going to come and help you with this. Someone's going to give you some sort of advice with this. I also really feel like there is somebody here who admires you who they like the way that you are, the way that you think, the person that you are, because you're like a genuine soul. It's like you don't feel like you fit in. And so it's like almost very tempting to just kind of be like everybody else because it's like, you know, there is something here about being socially different, but this person likes the way that you're socially different and you're going to advance and be around other people who are also thinking differently and it's more um it's higher vibration it's a higher vibration that's what it is that's what it is you have the four of swords here let's see what else what's the four of swords okay this is too many cards Way too many. The Three of Cups and the Eight of Swords. There is something about being around other people. Yeah, it's like you don't fit in around other people. You're feeling weird about that. 
And for some of you, you have been asking for guidance to spirit around this. And it's like, you know, this is clarifying the Eight of Cups and the Emperor here. So this is very interesting because it's like you have distanced yourself from a group with this Three of Cups here. Um, because it's just, there's something not right. It's like, just doesn't sit with you. And you're going to soon see why, you know, because it's like, you're rising above all of this. I feel like you already know that. Um, but you don't want to put other people down, even if, you know, they're being the way that they're being. It's like, I'd rather just move away from that and grow. And, you know, that's what it is that you're doing here. You're putting your energy back into yourself here. There is something about like maybe you keep thinking about a group of people because there could be a particular person that you want to talk to with this group of people. And it's like you don't want to walk away from that person, but you do want to walk away from the group. So it's like, how do you kind of navigate this situation? There is somebody that is on your mind. On They have you on their mind. And they're hoping and praying for a way to get this to come together. They could talk to other people in this group about you. Ask them about you. But why do I feel like there's a snake in the group? Why do I feel like there's a snake in the group? You have the Ace of Pentacles here. Wow. You're getting a new opportunity here that somebody else cannot stand. They don't want you to get this opportunity. Knight of Wands and Temperance here. Someone wants to make it look like, okay, look, look at this. This is the Knight of Wands. Someone is all, was all over the place. But then you have Temperance. They did the work to heal within themselves. Why was I all over the place? Do I want to be all over the place anymore? No, I don't. But that means I have to face some things. I have to heal some things so then I can be willing to actually open up. And so this is this person offering this pentacle to you, wanting to make this change here. But it's like there is somebody here that's trying to make it look like this person is not doing this. That this person is not even. That this person is not, um, you know, they haven't made a change. Someone trying to make someone look like they're not available because they want this person for themselves. Here, you have the Hierophant card here. Wow, you know, whatever anyone is trying to do, the only thing it's doing is pushing you and this person closer together. Look, you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Hierophant. So it is time now for this commitment to come forward, for this to come forward. And this is clarifying the Queen of Wands here. So this is time for uniquely you to come forward here and for people to see what it is that you have to offer. So it's like anyone that is trying to do anything, you don't have to worry about that. Because the Wheel of Fortune is letting me know that, yeah, spirit has your back. Spirit understands how to communicate and how to orchestrate to make things happen here. Because, you know, the Hierophant communicates uh, with the divine and establishes things here so that things can be established here. And so the time has come for something new to be established about you, about you individually, your own individuality. And that is, it's like a, a truth will come to light here. That's, that's not going to be, um, that's not going to fly. Spirit's not going to allow this here. You have, Wow. You have the emperor, you have the two of pentacles, and you have the seven of wands here. So there is a person here that, you know, there you, you could be going back and forth here about trying to force something to happen and just allowing the flow of something to happen and focusing your energy on yourself. It's like this is the new you, and then it's like a little bit you keep going back to the old you of I have to make this happen and I'm fighting all on my own here. You know, it's like if you tell this story of, you know, all the things that have happened to you that are betrayal, you're not going to attract a new person in that you're, you're just going to attract someone who's going to betray you all over again. So there is something here about you learning how to 
be healthy, how to have this abundant mindset, how to have this mindset of worthiness of love, worthiness of abundance, worthiness of, you know, yourself, you just the way you are, you know, it's like you, you don't understand that you've never experienced that. So it's like you don't know how to receive someone who is being healthy in their approach to you. And so this is what is clearing up at this time. And that's a natural process for that to happen in the full moon that we just had is helping this along uh, because you're leaving, you're cutting that uh, doubt, that fear, all of those past experiences out of your life. You're no longer allowing them to move forward. And this is a really good thing. It's like, you know, when you're pushing a swing, in the beginning, you're pushing the swing one direction your whole life. And so this is the, the direction of fear and of I'm not good enough and everyone betrays me and, you know, I'm not, you know, worthy of, you know, an easy, fun, abundant, happy life filled with love, you know. And then when you push the swing the other way, right, in the way of abundance, in the way of worthiness, in the way of unconditional love, right? In the beginning, when you start pushing it this way, it's going to go every which way. That's what happens. So like a tire swing, right? If you have to keep pushing it in that direction. But then when it goes all crazy, then it's like, okay, I guess I'll just do it this way. I'll do it the same way I've been doing it then. <laughs> and it quickly will correct and go this way because it's been going this way. You know, and so then it's like, no, 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 I, I really feel like I need to push it this way. And it gets all wobbly again. So you're like, no, 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 I'll push it that way. And the more and more and more you're playing with this, you're realizing, no, I'm going this way. I'm not going to go back. I don't need to go back. You're familiar with the other way. It's like if you've been walking through a field one way, you have made such an easy path for yourself. But it's like that path leads to a particular location. If you don't want to go to that location anymore, you have to walk a different path. And you don't know that's the moon card. You don't know what's going to happen because it's a different path. At least with the other path, you knew what was coming. And so this is why we do this. This is why our brain teaches us to do this because then there's some sort of preparedness in knowing. Um, but, you know, you didn't come here to live this, this kind of life. You came here to go for it and you know you're you're doing it with this person here okay what's this down here now you have the high priestess with the seven of swords someone is thinking about coming forward it feels like You have this three of swords. Oh, so many cards. You know, you could have walked away from something here. You could have walked away from something from fear. Somebody else could have walked away from something out of fear. If you feel like you have a person on your mind that you think this is that's coming forward and they distance themselves from you, it's like, did they do so because they were afraid that of what was going to happen, of what the outcome was? Did they think your, your boundaries were up or, for some reason? Did they think you were with somebody else here? This could be an Aquarius person. This could be a Pisces person. There is something here about being left out in the cold, but there is communication that is going to come of this. So you're going to hear of this, whatever this is. You're going to know what this is. You Look at this. There was a person that wants to come forward and they were hiding. It's like they were hiding how they were feeling. You have this uh, different ways card. They're trying to do something different here. 
I have this lighthouse. And the moon. The moon in this deck is a good card. There is a person here who they didn't have a direction when you first interacted with them. They, you know, you go up to a lighthouse to the top so you can see from a great distance. And this could be somebody who, you know, was afraid. Lighthouses shine um, the shoreline so people know that they, so they don't crash their boat into the shore. So this could be a person who... You know, they were afraid of things. They don't know how things were going to go. You climb up to the top of the lighthouse, you can see everything, then you get a bigger perspective. So they took some time to get some, some of their own perspective on how to do, what to do with this here. You know, this moon card is like the star card in this deck. So this is like this person realizing that there is a lot of love here that they have for you. And yeah, there's a lot of different ways that this could go. And that is scary to them. And they wanted to be sure that they're going to be safe. And now they're starting to realize, but them not expressing their feelings towards you, you know, that they can't do that anymore. You have the ring at the bottom of the deck. It's a person who's realizing that they're wanting to come forward towards you. They're wanting to communicate here. Let's, let's see about this person here. Wow. Karmic relationships. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, loving you. This could be somebody who there is a karmic person that gets involved in this. That's trying to tell you something about this person. They could have been just got out of a karmic relationship. And this is what scared them with moving this forward because they got really hurt before. And so they needed to do the work to heal from that, you know, because you have the wedding rings. So, I mean, in two completely different decks. And I never feel pulled to use these decks. You get the wedding ring. <laughs> I mean, this person knows what they are wanting here. So I feel like there is an explanation for their behavior, for being distant, for this taking some time. Um, you know, for if you hear about a person, you may not know this person and they come towards you and you start dating them and, you know, you know th their ex somehow and they come up to you and say, this person did this to me, this person did this to me. Well, it's like maybe that was a karmic relationship. How, how, what do you do? You know what that person did to them? You know, you only know what they're telling you. So it's like, don't it's like telling you, like, don't worry about a person's past. Worry about what they're being to you right now. You know, are their actions matching their words? You know, follow your intuition here. You know, you're, you have this sort of truth here. So I feel like this person, the truth is going to come out about a situation. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay, we have the tank guard. Celebration, fun, enjoyment. You have the vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is working against you. Yeah, I think you're worried that someone is working against you, and I think you're right. There is someone working against you. But here's the thing. They're not going to prevail. <laughs> you are. So it's like, don't you don't need to worry about that. Look at this axe, forces working against you. There's somebody here working against you. But here's the thing, it's not gonna work. So the truth, it's not gonna happen. Dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. This person could be a distant friend of yours. Maybe the person working against you is a distant friend and you just don't even know 
uh, that ink pop problems to be resolved. There is something here that you're resolve. You're good. You're going to resolve something here. This is going to come to light carriage, a journey, either mental or physical. Yeah. There is something here about you and this person. You're going to go on a journey. There is a lot of romance here. I was feeling that from this person's energy. They're very romantic. You have the staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Look at that. You're being taken care of. The universe is protecting you during this time. So you don't need to worry about this other person that's trying to get in between you and this person. The person that you're, you know. Quarrel and ostentation. It's like someone is trying to get in the middle to cause problems. But ostentation is like a show. It's a show. This person is putting on a show. They're acting. And this is people seeing. People seeing that this is not real. People are going to see that this person is fake. They're going to see that this is not, it's not right. Yeah, you have domination, intuition. Look at this. Domination, intuition. You can tell something about a particular person, but you're going to be able to follow your own intuition. So this is not going to work. You have discrimination and isolation. This person, or discrimination, uh, resistance and isolation. This person is trying to isolate you to create resistance from between you and this person. They want to make you think that they're over here with this person, but they're not. They're not even over there. Yeah, just this. Spirit is saying just focus on the things that are um, showing up in your life, that are creating value in your life, things that are adding joy to your life. And nature is a great one. When nothing is, nature can, you know, really. And you just focus on the butterflies. This woman's going out there. She's focusing on the butterflies. All these beautiful things are coming around her. Uh, she has this beautiful flower dress on, like... She has all these reasons to enjoy this day and she's choosing to focus on that. And this is why she's getting more of that. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you have criticism here, but it's like when you point the finger at someone, you have three pointing back. That's what this card talks about. And it talks about the eye, this eye here. So seeing something for what it really actually is is what this is talking about. You have enthusiasm and birth. You know, you're creating something beautiful here, you and this person. This person is very enthusiastic about life. This person wants a family here. That keeps coming forward. This person wants to create a new life for you and this person. They want something different and they want it with you. And there's people that are jealous of that. And the more that they try to put you down the more they are only actually putting themselves down and the more you don't even respond to this type of behavior uh you know it's like michelle obama uh go high when they're going low right this person can see right through you have the kids here look at this this person could really want kids you got the wedding wedding rings twice now you have kids twice so if that's not what you're wanting, that's fine. But that's how tarot depicts something progressing to another level that is a love connection. So whatever that next level would be for you. Look at this woman and look at how she has her eyes closed. Like she's not even looking at the negativity, not even just what can I enjoy right now? Well, I'm wearing a beautiful dress. Hey, I got that going for me. <laughs> You know, and then you have the flowers here. So it's like this person is very romantic. They're going to do romantic gestures to show you that they appreciate you and you're going to do them back to them. That's the thing about you and this person. Beautiful. Okay, Leo, thank you so much. If this resonated and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, I have a TikTok. It's called Sicilian Rose Tarot. And I have a book. It's called One Lights. It's all about the law of attraction and manifesting. So if you're interested, all that's in the description.